So, fixing the diff in this HSP Brontosaurus. Um, the rear diff was stripped or something and, and not engaging. And it was just spinning in there. So, I took it apart and the actual diff doesn't look too bad. The teeth are in pretty good shape on the ring and the pinion. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with there. Hoping that it just got out of alignment. And I noticed on this shaft here, the way this thing works, the uh, spur gear is held on with a little pin in there and then it's uses some I've used some washers and things to kind of space it out to get it in the right spot and it looks like the e-clip on there I don't know if you can see in between there um, broke and was gone so gonna go ahead and put a new one of those in in there it's this guy here if that's possible to see just a big stupid e-clip and uh, pop that on there and hopefully that will fix things up so that's where we're at all right so we're just putting the c-clip e-clip back in here and giving that a little pop in there that's nice and snug on this shaft doesn't have much play which is good so I'm good on that side might put another washer in between there just to keep things in between the c-clip and the bearing to give it a little a little something to keep it safe all right, we got it set up with the little E-clip, a couple spacers on the gear side and spacer on the other side to help protect the bearing. So we're just gonna get that set up in there. There we go, that's the ticket. I'll just... Pop that in there. There we go. So now we got a little spacer on either side. Gear. It's nice and snug, doesn't have any play. And there's a spacer between the bearing and the E clip to help help keep that good. Now on the other side, I want to put a little spacer over. Oh, maybe I should get the right size of washer for that. I'm gonna put a, a spacer here, then the bearing, then maybe some more spacers to push the pinion out as far as we can so that when it comes up against the ring in the diff, there'll be maximum engagement between those teeth. And hopefully nothing will slip anymore. So here's your output or output from the motor input to the diff and the ring here so you can use those shims to move the diff this way left or right in relation to the pinion to get it so that it's sitting in there just right and getting a nice solid engagement in the way oh there we go okay just have to push it down a bit and see how How snug that is. Oh, come on, you stupid little clip. Love these clips. It's like the best. Okay, so that has no play up and down, really. Very minimal. So 
So that's good. I'll just hold the cap on it here. Let's see. Well, that feels fine like that, but that doesn't really tell us anything. Need to be able to try to lock it, which is kind of a pain without getting it all the way back in the vehicle. How much? I got a little side to side play in the diff, so maybe that's what happened. It started to wear a little bit of side to side play like this, so maybe I started to wear out this housing a bit. So of course, these shims are the ones that I don't have enough of. And this is the one you need for this particular thing. It has to be wide enough to fit around that cup, but small enough to not go outside the bearing radi diameter. Okay, yeah, so I don't have any on there to steal. And that is a pain, but that's the way it is. None of these fit. They're all too god dang small. Hmm. Well, I don't have any more shims, so can't do anything about that right now. But uh, with the housing both sides on, play is very minimal. But it might be enough. I don't know. Anyways, going to button it back up and see what happens and maybe it'll work and maybe it'll still strip but uh that's just how it goes sometimes and you never have the dang washer you need you got a million washers that are the wrong size never the right size such is life all right let's put this thing back together we got our diff false based as well as we can Got the spur spaced as well as we can. <coughs> and we're gonna see how it goes when we put it back together. I don't know if it's the easiest or what. The, the least amount of screws, I guess, to get this diff out on the rear for this is first you loosen up these three as loose as they'll go without coming out, just because it's a little easier that way. Take the four top screws out of here the uh, take the bumper off and then slide that piece off of there then you have enough room that you can pull the diff case out of there once you unbolt unscrew the two screws holding it to the shock mount tower so we're gonna slide this back in here and just make sure I got the diff on the right side because otherwise it's going to go backwards and yeah that is correct so that's good and then this is a bit of a fiddly bit of business here but just kind of slide it in there and then we got to get that shaft to line up with the cup here the drive shaft cup so I think that's going to work. Oh. Just try to keep it all together and it's one of those things like does it actually is it actually faster? And probably it is. There we got it. So I'm just kind of get this some shimmying around. Get that little puppy on there. Come on now. So yeah, maybe again this would have been a little Easier if I just took the whole thing apart, but slide. There we go. Now it's all good. Make sure the keys lined up on there nicely. And that is. I'll slide that in like that and tighten that up real tight hopefully the old loctite is still good on there we'll see all right so let's 
put these screws back in the motor mount. You start if you start these screws going backwards, you can feel when it'll drop into the threads. You feel a little drop. There it is when it goes into the threads, and then it'll thread in real smooth. And you can be sure that you're not cross threading anything. Because that sucks. There it is. Here's the little tap. I'll just get those started but not tight. Then we'll go around to the bottom here and then we'll tighten these up. And these MIP tools are so much better than cheap ones, especially for these small hexes. The cheap ones round out immediately. These MIPs do not. And that is what we like. Okay, so now the bottom's tight. Now we will snug down the top. We've got little washers on here because I have the plastic piece cut out around the hole so that I can take it off and on easily. Alright, so those are snugged. I already did the bottom one before. So that is all. There's a third one right down there. I did that before I put this in. So that's all good there. And then I'm going to leave these struts off for now because we need to put in new dog bones. There we go. Grab some more lovely little Eclipse. These ones are even smaller and more fragile and stupid than the other ones. Got them all snuggered up. Got in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's just turn this fucking thing over. How about that? All right. That's all good. One more thing. These little bumper pieces. Okay, so let's take the dog bones out and uh, where's my bag of bent ones? Oh, hell. Oh, here they are. Here's all the bent ones. Some of them are really bent, some of them are less bent. We're gonna go straighten them out. Okay, so we're gonna take the bent one, put it on a piece of wood, and give it a smack or two. I got a few of the other ones done already that worked out. And time to order some new dog bones because they keep doing that. Snapping. That's how it goes. Got some sort of straight dog bones. It's nice to have the dog bones long enough that they can't flop out of these cups. But if they're too long, then it binds the suspension up. Or when the suspension goes up, it binds the the cups up which is bad so what we're gonna do is get some rubber here and put some rubber into these cups to help keep the 
dog bones from getting out of there. So yeah, it doesn't really need to be pretty or nice. You just sort of want to give something that put something that has a little give to it and acts like a spring in there. And that will really help with keeping those dog bones centered and keeping them from getting all out of whack and bent up. So I want to have a little play in there, but not too much. So if we go all the way up into the top, is it binding up? Not badly, a little bit. It's getting a little bit tighter, but that'll loosen up as the wet, the rubber wears, wears down. And that's got a good, good play in there. So I like that. Put this back together. All right. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna do the other four. I gotta put the dog bones back in the front because I had them taken out because one of them broke the other day. Let's do a quick test to see what's happening. Let's see how it's doing with the diff slipping. Pretty, pretty good, no slips, no grinds. Cool, all right, good stuff. All right, well, that's all good. Cool, all right. I'll give those a little test in a minute. All right, let's see if this worked. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Yep, seems all right. Good, 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 this is great. Let's do a little hill climbing and see how it goes. Doing good. This is great. Yeah, that's good. The diff is not doing, not stripping out at all. Got the other one out here to do a little test. Same zone. This one's on 2S, much lower power motor, 26 kV, 2600 kV instead of 32. And uh, still lots of fun, but a lot less of a speed slash break everything machine but I'm just gonna go do the hill climb here with this one see how it goes look at how smooth this thing goes you don't even need any more power well maybe you do <laughs> yeah they just this one works so nice it's real light real smooth 
quiet. <laughs> yeah, the lights work on this one too. Driver is no better though, unfortunately. All right, good stuff. Let's stick out of there. Everything's going good. Call up my bro and head out for a peel soon. And hopefully there won't be too much dog shit everywhere. Because it's the springtime. Yeah. Super coziness. Look at that little unit go. Sorry if the uh, camera is really bouncy. I'm just Got it on my damn head walking. Anyways, sweet. Successful little fix it mission. And now it's time for more fun. Y'all have a good day and thanks again.